Hello guys and welcome to this lesson of about app life and activity life cycle. So Android activity life cycle is controlled by seven methods of a class called android.app.activity class. Don't think about this. We are going to conf configure every step and everything we will learn. These lessons are from a master android app ever found on a play store so download master android pro and master android from an app from play store so back to the activity and activity is a single screen in android it is like window or frame of java as we say before we made the sections we made uh, previous sections we made a lot of apps but we every time we run we have a window or a frame of java in front of us by the help of activity you can place all your ui components or widgets in a single screen so the life the seven life cycle methods of activity describes how activity will behave at different states so android activity life cycle methods have seven methods that are displayed in front of you of us so these methods are first of all on create methods it is called in create method it's called when activity is first created we will see if uh, uh, we will see in the next uh, couple of minutes how under android studio will behave and uh, work with uh, these methods and we will see how these methods also work and what and at what at what stage at what step these methods are called. So first of all, uh, uh, be, concentrate on these seven methods to uh, to know the the Android how it works. So on on create is called when activity is first created. So when the user click the icon of the of uh, your app, the App will launch the first method is called on create method the second is on start called when activity is becoming visible to the user so the user when when the user is uh, seeing uh, something on uh, something on his uh, uh, telephone or his uh, uh, tab or his phone so on start method is is called when the user is uh, having something something visible in front of him then the third method is called on resume it's called when activity will start interacting with the user so till now uh, the user launches the activity on create method is called the app is visible to the user on start method is called and on resume called when activity will start interacting with the user so it's ready to interact with the users on pause called when activity is not visible to the user so uh, when you uh, click the home button so the the app is started uh, is continue the continue started uh, in background but on pause is called now on stop called when activity is no longer visible to the user so when the you click home button the app uh, or the android system will not display your app on pause is called then on stop is called on restart called after your activity is stopped uh, stop prior to the prior to start okay restarted when you click the home button the android system will uh, will uh, will don't will not, uh, not close the, your activity completely or your app uh, completely but when you return to it on restart method is called on destroy called before the activity is completely destroyed okay it, this is when you exit everything from uh, the android uh, system now let's go to android studio and see how it will works 
with us. Opening Android Studio. So the 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 key of uh, of life cycle is to um, to know at each stage at which which of these seven methods are called at what is now running in in front or uh, uh, what is running in this moment so back to android studio i will create an app that will dis display everything to us and in the log cat so on the main activity on, on the main activity just uh, to to make a in order to allow the the under studio to uh, to zoom i will go to the editor editor general change font zoom with the control okay now i can zoom in using control and mouse wheel now here here i will create the uh, a constant ta tag a constant string called a uh, tag so now i will make a private static final string called tag so this tag will uh, we uh, saw before uh, we watched before uh, in previous videos how look at works so uh, we I, i'm making just a tag to know what is the message is this uh, is called uh, when the activity or when uh, when the activity is launched when the activity is destroyed when the activity is paused restarted and whatever so first of all let's go to uh, a put here on create method the first method uh, will be uh, uh, the first method will be called when the activity is uh, or when your app is launched so put log i tag and i will put on created method is called okay now let's run and see what's happening uh, or what is actually the on create method at which time it is uh, it is sorry uh, called so i'm searching for tank and waiting android studio to become visible and the antivirus program okay maybe my uh, antivirus is uh, okay now it's launched it is not now ready sorry here message okay if you see that whenever the activity is started on create method is called so back again i will recreate it relaunch okay on create method is called so back no items and i will hello world and in create method is called so whenever the user click the the app on create method is first called now let's move to the second uh, uh, second method on start 
Okay, on start, also the same. I will copy the look at and put here on start method is called. Okay, let's run. Okay, you see on create method is first called and on start method is secondly called. Now let's move to see the 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 third third uh, method will be called. Okay. In order to override, we will uh, learn uh, later on in this course what is overriding. So uh, these methods are actually uh, presented in Android. But whenever you are overriding, you are adding something new to the previously found or already found uh, uh, methods. If you don't understand this concept, we will clarify it in uh, later uh, later uh, videos don't uh, be confused now if you want to override you click on alt plus insert and override methods override methods we search for on resume on resume or resume or uh, sorry on restart we will start on on start are not overriding or and if you want to here also you can override by putting on restart and android study will automatically generate the method and that you can override I will click here on restart method is called okay I will run okay watch closely on create method is called on start method is called back and on restart method is called it's very amazing so on start method is re launched so if i quit the app and restart or rerun it the on restart method is called then on start method is called now let's see the on resume look i resume click run so on create method will be called then on start then on resume whenever their app you click whenever you click the icon of your app or any app first of all on create method will be called on start method also and then on resume the app is ready to interact with the user if i quit with the home button and relaunch it, the on start method is called then on start method and then on resume so it's very very uh, interactive and very amazing uh, algorithms that android use use so back to on destroy and i will show you the the on pause on pause also okay on destroy destroy and on pause Let's click run and see all the methods. Okay, as a final or summary for our lesson, whenever you click the button, the icon button, the on create method is called, then on start method is called, then on resume. Now your app is ready to interact with the user. If the user clicks the home button or uh, the on pause method is called okay if the user click 
back or restarted it or restart method is called on rest on start method is then restore uh, called and then on resume back to the user that is ready for interacting now if the user click and remove it on pause method is called and then on destroy method method is called thank you guys and uh, i hope you uh, benefit from uh, this lesson because it's very important to understand the android basics and android and how android uh, methods are uh, or how android uh, are working or how android uh, system works thank you and uh, i hope you rate us five stars So this schema uh, describes the Android app lifecycle. So first activity is launched. On create method is created or called. Then on start method, then on resume. So activity running and the app is ready to you to be used. If another activity comes into the foreground, so is so the the foreground is the as the the uh, top of the uh, in front of the user which app uh, or of uh, or the user if uh, he clicked the home button the activity running will be posed by by using an on post and this method is called is called uh, when the another activity comes into foreground then the user returns to the activity if the user returns to activity or resume method is called now the activity is no longer visible on stop is called and a user navigates to the activity or restart method is called and on start method is called then or resume and activity is back to run if the user is finished uh, if the activity is finishing or or being destroyed by the system on destroy method is called and activity shut down by the way on if the on stop method is called apps with higher priority needs memory app process called and the user navigates then and the user navigates to the activity back to on create on start on resume and activity is running this is the life cycle of the android uh, activity uh, android uh, app activity and the life uh, app life uh, in android system